Limits are these kind of mathematical objects that are abstractions that can't really physically be formed in life, but exist in math, right? That's how perception is, or authenticity is. Kind of like my son, Alex. Such a stoic little kid, right? I remember he, there was one time that he was crying, and then I remember he smiled at me suddenly. And I was like, you know, Alex, you're smiling. Get the camera, get the camera, honey. I got the camera out, we took the first picture, my wife said, he just shit his pants. <laughs> Perception, reality. Kind of like a tiger. Like there's tiger stripes, maybe the tigers are erratic. Right? Kind of like perception, reality. Right? Kind of like Berlusconi, a little wiener, we got a little bit of cheating, you know. What's real? What's authentic, really? So that's why I've challenged myself to this. So just go with me, and inside of this formula, hopefully you'll be able to extrapolate some of the philosophy, some of the benchmark ideas, be able to measure ourselves as the best practice if we're doing our job well or not. Not just our job, but in life. So, broke out this formula, I'm going to describe to you the pieces. It goes like this. Authenticity equals unique voice times infinite truth plus 361 degrees access times the emotional sum, proximity sum of touch and feel. Emotional touch and feel, all raised to the power of one's ability to imagine. Right? Let's break this down. So what if you could do this? We look at the first piece of the formula, unique voice, and the unique voice is broken like this. It's the function of action minus the function of fear divided by self. It's just some heavy shit. Just go with me though. A little easier, get easier. Self, what do I mean by self? Why is self important in having a unique voice? Well, if you're selfless, you're point one. Because you can't really be all the way selfless unless you're dead, right? So like selfless is like gone, right? If you're selfish, on the other hand, absolutely selfish.